the army's task force three six nine the advance guard for the first brigade third infantry division led the way from Karbala gap all the way to baghdad we covered 350 miles in 15 days we were really moving before we crossed the berm we took every piece of new technology we could get our hands on the army's first combat employment of blue force tracking satellite communications on the move a near real-time red picture even for the systems that weren't fully developed the links to isr assets uavs and satellites gave a pretty damn good picture right down to the lieutenant colonel that's powerful stuff and it was clear to all of us what kind of power a fully networked system could bring to a commander and his soldiers i'm lieutenant colonel rock marcone and I command a Task Force 369 in Operation Iraqi Freedom. In the same way the 3rd Infantry Division leveraged the newest technology in its drive on Baghdad, we will take the future combat systems components and spiral them out to the current force as they become available. We're spiraling this technology into our current force to bring that current force up as we move forward. This is the concept that is hugely powerful and will make the Army very, very relevant for the future. The FCS program is going to fundamentally change things in the near term. It's very relevant to the current force, and we're serious about getting it to our soldiers as soon as we can. Much of the initial effort will focus on the network backbone, the heart of FCS, SOSCO, Joint Tactical Radio System, Sensor Fusion, Battle Command, the Joint Fires Network. In years, we'll see the introduction of an array of unmanned systems across the force, from unattended ground sensors to unmanned air and ground combat vehicles and remote precision launch systems, technology that's possible only with a network like the one in FCS. A new family of vehicle platforms will enhance and expand the capabilities of our armed forces by giving us more agile and more capable fighting systems purpose-built for the FCS network. The system of systems will link the power of sensors, command and control, lethality, embedded training, modular logistics, and even unmanned systems to the soldiers and leaders we are growing today. The same ones who have to make the tough calls on tomorrow's battlefield. Okay, the enemy's blind. That's the last of the Rista elements forward on that projected Tiger. Back door is open and we're coming through. Sir, UGV is just now completing route clearance. Of IEDs picked up by UAV scans. Task Force Dragon across that bridge, you got 20 minutes tops. Status on our left flank. Sir, enemy forces are arrayed strongly in this area. The feint seems to be working. We are engaging out of contact in this area here. In the reserves? So the enemy is now moving his mobile reserves in anticipation of our river crossing. This is it. It's our window. Sense of fusion has given us a good picture. three hot spots throughout our AO, sir. And on the way. Hold on to Task Force Dragon hits that bridge. Time now, sir.
Let's move it. Five four status. Get a spot in the shooters. Crew is unhurt. Vehicle is amber, but operational. Keep them moving. Oh, that Echo 3-0. What does it look like? UZ-2. What do we have in range? Any time. Network's got the target. Chip to pan. Inbound and fine. Do you want me to run the rest of the task force across? I do not have an ID on the shooters. Repeat. I do not have an ID on the shooters. Put a bite on the bridge. Stop it halfway. Let's finish this. On the way. 